Hey gamers, it's Smarties and today I'm just going to be quickly going through my 2024 goals in case you were interested in following along in what I get up to this year. I've split this video up into three sort of four categories. Uh, first is chords I'd like to complete this year. Second is like specific items I'd like to obtain this year. And three are just kind of like general EGL goals I have, so please stick around or skip to the categories that you'd be interested in. So the first chord that I have that I want to complete this year that you probably can already guess is a Shiro chord. Man, I've been buying so many blouses and socks and shoes in the hope that it's the right shade of white and they're all like different shades of white, but I promise, well I hope, this year will be the year that I finally get a full Shiro chord, hopefully to match Miranda JSK because it's so beautiful, but as you can see and I've mentioned before, Look at all the different shades of blouses that I've been collecting, and none of them are like the exact match. <sighs> I have ordered two more white blouses that are on the way from Akari, and hopefully one of them suit it. If not, I don't know what I'm gonna do, dude. Oh, the struggle is no one told me it was this hard to like try match shades of white online. The second goal I have for this year is to make a cherry cord. Um, as I've mentioned in my previous videos, all of a sudden I just really like cherries. I'm really not sure what brought it upon. I think I just saw like someone post a berry coordinate. I don't think it was Lovely Law. It was like slightly before then. I was just like starting to really get into berries, but I'm not a very big, you know, strawberry fan. You know, it's like, oh, they're a little too complicated for me. And I do like apple motifs, but I feel like an apple is a little bit too chunky. And I feel like cherries are just the right amount of feminine and the right amount of silly for me, you know? So it's like, yeah, cherries will do. So hopefully I can pull off one or two, that's a little ambitious, uh, cherry coordinates this year. And I'll definitely be doing a video on that because I've already ordered a bunch, quite a few cherry items online so um, yeah I don't know if I should do like specifically a cherry haul video or if I should just like show off my cherry coordinate when I've figured it all out but um, I'll just see when I get to it and how lazy I am you know. The third coordinate goal I have for this year is a chocolate coordinate so I was really hoping to get a brown cord but specifically chocolate themed, like a chocolate themed print would be really nice, but I know that chocolate themed um, prints are really difficult to obtain, so maybe I just do like a brown coordinate and then buy a bunch of chocolate accessories, I'm not sure. Um, I've already, I'm kind of really focused on my other two coordinate goals already, so hopefully maybe in the winter time, that would be June, July for me, because I'm in Aotearoa. Um, yeah, hopefully sometime around then I could pull off a chocolate coordinate because I feel like that would suit the hot chocolatey cold vibe, but we'll see. Also, as you can probably tell, I'm not really in a coordinate today, well not at all. It is literally just too hot where I am right now. Like, it is so, so warm. I'm filming this super fast just because I don't know if I'll survive. That's also why this video is late. I tried filming last week and it was just like... Mm -mm, it's too warm. I'll enter the clips here now if I can be bothered of me trying on coordinates and them getting progressively less warm and me just giving up, dude. Because the thing is, I could like feel my sweat running under and like dripping down my like blouses and I'm like, I'm not getting my blouses soaked in sweat right now. That is, that is rank. So I just gave up and I'm <laughs> retrying today. So <laughs> hopefully we can get through it and my package arrived now, so now I can show it off to you guys. So now I'm just gonna jump into my like specific item goals, um, and there's again just three of them. My first one is to get an Usakumiya this year. You guys can call me a fake fan or an eater, I don't care that I have a, a tattoo of Usakumiya before I own one, but I've just never really found the right Usakumiya for me, you know. Ever since I got this tattoo, I felt like I've already like I already have an Usakumiya with me all the time so I wasn't really in that much of a rush but I really would like to find the right Usakumiya for me this year and I feel like it would add a lot especially to the type of more muted coordinates I'm going for this year so yeah hopefully I get an Usakumiya this year I don't really mind what kind as long as it is like an Usa a physical Usakumiya of some sort not like a print or a pen or anything um the second specific item I want is 
I want a scalloped JSK. Dude, why why are they so hard to come by? Like Baby and AP and so many other brands release so many scalloped prints. No, not not prints, scalloped JSKs and like OPs. And I'm not finding any of them. I cannot find any scalloped JSKs and I really want one this year. Just the Lolita evolution that I'm going through right now, I'm like I need scalloped items, so I really hope I can obtain a scalloped JSK this year. And the third item is um, more gothic accessories. I didn't realize until I entered like a gothic and classic Lolita Discord server. I use the same gothic accessories for every single one of my gothic coordinates. I don't know why I never thought about it before. I've got like three different gothic blouses and three different gothic skirts that I can mix and match together and only one black headdress. I have like a black and silver one but I use that more for punk, you know, coordinates because I feel like silver doesn't really go well with gothic coordinates. And I have one pair of black shoes that I wear if I'm not cheating and wearing my new rocks out and one pair of like black socks that I always wear. I'm not really super interested in buying heaps of gothic items unless they're like H. Natal or something or I don't know, what is it called? Um, Alice and the Pirates is quite borderline, like maybe. Um, I do just want better accessories so that I can mix and match and just like pump out better coordinates, you know? So there we go, that's my three specific item goals and I'm going to be moving on to my more general goals for my EGO journey this year. So starting off with my general goal this year is I'd like to take more full coordinate pictures and actually put thought and effort into my coordinates. Um, a lot of the time when I have pictures of me in EGL, I'm out and about and whenever I'm out and about, I'm in um, not EGL shoes and I feel like that always kind of ruins my coordinates. So I just like to get into the habit of taking nice full length photos of my coordinates so that I can look back. If I don't own a JSK one day, then I still have beautiful photos to look back on it and see how I coordinated it and just to see how, um, how good my coordinate skills improve over the years. For like full proper coordinate photos, definitely go follow my EGL specific Instagram that I'll link in the description below. Um, the second general goal I have is to film more for you guys. I'm already slacking, I'm so sorry. I literally did try film last week and, and then I died. And the week before that I was camping because like I'm not gonna miss like an opportunity to pop a Manu during summer for no reason. You guys can tell that I'm descending into madness, it is so warm so warm in my room and if I put the fan on then the audio is gonna get all messed up anyway so yeah haven't really been able to film too busy enjoying summer um, but hopefully I can keep up with filming as the year goes on even though there might be a few gaps because I'm going on a trip that I'll mention later and I still study might just not get around to it at the end of semesters but I will try film for you guys and yeah I find this way more satisfying than TikTok because you know you can always come back to this video and if anyone searches me up my videos will always be there. I've been feeling very unsatisfied and unfulfilled with making TikTok content. It really doesn't feel like I'm doing much you know at the end of the day. <sighs> anyway my final and third general goal for this year is just experimenting more with my taste as you've noticed. Um, I said in my last wardrobe post that, you know, I'd be holding on to the bittersweet stuff, but I, after posting that video, I realized some of those dresses I've only reached for once ever. So I've already sold to Alice, to my lovely friend B. Thank you for buying it. Um, and I'm in the process of trying to sell Squirrel Party, even though it was such a hassle to get it. And I love that print so much when I like to go out. Um, if I'm not wearing like J fashion in like a fun way. Sorry, that was random. Of course, wearing any J fashion is always in a fun way. If I'm not wearing like scene or emo clothing, I feel very cutesy when I'm in like more muted and red tones at the moment. So, and not just interesting through like pink and cutesy stuff. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. You know, you know, bittersweet, you know, you can see it. it I'm just um, not that interested in like buying more of it this year. I'm more interested in buying, you know, 
browns, creams, whites, um, reds definitely. So that's probably going to be my focus for this year at least. Now I just wanted to get to the trip that I'm taking. <gasps> you guys can probably already guess. I'm going to Japan with my boyfriend for our full year anniversary. <gasps> I'm literally so excited. Basically, we're gonna be staying five days in Tokyo and five days up in the mountains with the monkeys and then five more days in Tokyo, so that'll give me lots of time to do heaps of shopping. We're both very relaxed travelers. We can just take every day as it comes and if I feel like shopping that day, we can go shopping or we can go do something that he'd like to do, so I guess we'll just see how we go. But um, the main thing I wanted to mention is that I will definitely do a big Japan haul video when I get back. But when I'm in Japan, um, I'd really just like to enjoy my holiday and spend my time with my partner. If I do vlog, it'll be a surprise because I really am not expecting to be filming or just like taking heaps of photos. I really just want to, you know, relax and be on holiday. So I don't really think I'll be vlogging, but I'll definitely do a haul video with you guys. But ah! so exciting if you've got any japan or specifically tokyo suggestions please leave them down below for me so um one more thing that i wanted to mention is that one of you guys did request that i make a video about sewing one of the items in a gothic and lolita bible i do have the pen for a capelet so i definitely will be making like a little capelet tutorial well tutorial I'm just gonna be following the pattern that they have that just about wraps up my EGL goals so if you're interested in any of those kind of things then please stick around throughout the year because that's definitely what I'll be focusing on and now I'm just gonna show you quickly the stuff that I got from Macari uh, the shipping for this was only like $23 including the 15% tax so this was a really cheap Macari haul it's only got one big item in it and the rest are kind of all accessories item. <laughs> I finally bought myself a stupid little hangry angry keychain. I saw this for like 20 bucks on Macari and how could I resist? Look how look how fricked up they look bro. This guy is stupid. They're like all flat and munted. Oh my god. So I I had to cop them to like add to my bag and like my outfit and stuff just because I thought that's a very silly little H. Natal element to add to my outfits from so on. So I do really like H. Natal so hopefully I'll be collecting more of that this year too. But yeah, that's my first item. They're so silly. I believe this is angry. This is my second item. This was also only like $20. Can you believe it? I was a little confused about the listing because it said that they custom made the bows so the bows are different every time. But now I don't know if the other items are also handmade or if they are official items so I'll show you guys what I mean. See in the listing these bows were um white and black so I thought they'd go really well with my old school coordinates but I still really like these you know I don't like the shiny fabric for bows and stuff so I really appreciate this and I like the little ribbing effect so they handmade these so cute um and I, I don't know if these are handmade or not because they might be brand but I don't under my impression I didn't think so but my com seems to think it is brand um look at this a little choker with Pearl, I love Pearl details, and the Pearl has the Baby the Star Shine Bright logo embedded on it. I know there is an official item that looks like this, and the other two items that came with it are these um, little earrings that have little bows on them, also with the Baby the Star Shine Bright logo on them. Excited to be wearing these, they'll definitely be good for black and white coordinates in the future. Third item. I thought this was bodyline, but now I'm not sure. It's a a cream and red um, head bow. Because I, you know, I'd like to be collecting red and cream stuff throughout this year. So I just thought it'd be good to have in case I do one day get a red and cream outfit. And I did actually think it would go pretty well with that bodyline OP that I have. Because that has like red and cream elements to it. I love the details on the top. I might have to steam this to get it to sit right though. It says it's from... Mamo or Mama? Uh, I'm not sure. Let me check the tag. Maxi Simam. Yeah, I'll have to flip this if I can figure out how. I don't know if I've heard of this brand before, but it's cute anyway. That's a win. 
very cute little bow on the top as well. The last uh, accessory I have is also from the same seller. <gasps> I know what this is, but why is it in a... Why is it in a bread bag? It smells like bread. And it smells really yum, but what the heck? That is really funny though. I always love when Japanese sellers use like funny things to package items like we're all about sustainability here. It's a body line uh, headdress because I despise my other black one because the bubbles on it are so big so now I've got a nice one that's actually like flat to my head. The one thing I am a bit disappointed about is it doesn't have those clips. You can see that there's little like um, sewing marks over here so I'm not sure if there were supposed to be um, clips or not. Um, anyway, I'm not too bothered. The headdress itself is beautiful. The last item is not a Lolita item, but it's a J Fashion item, and if you know me, I really, really love stuff from this brand. Can you guys guess? It's Gloomy Bear. This is what I bought myself for Christmas, so I'm really excited. This was, I think, $50, but $50 well spent. Oh my gosh, guys. Would you look at that? I know some of you guys watching this might not be interested in Gloomy Bear stuff, but this is so iconic. The print of this goes crazy. Hello? And I thought this was going to be a hoodie, but it's actually really nice thin material, so I can wear this as a shirt, because I'm actually not a very big fan of hoodies, so I'm glad about that. <gasps> oh my gosh. It has a little hood with ears. And the beautiful gloomy print with a little bud on his nose. And look at the lining of the hood so that when you wear it backwards you see the cute little like... Love a little t-shirt with a hood, it's so silly. And you guys are not ready for the back. I'm so annoyed because it was scene night at my favorite bar. Like, literally Friday and today is like Sunday. I am so annoyed because this would have been perfect. The size seems good. It might be a bit big for me, but you know, that's the way we like it, you know, better than the other way around. The tag for this is a little crusty, so I don't actually know how old this is, but I'm not a very big fan of the new ACDC rag collab with um, Gloomy Bear anyway. The quality of that one is average. I've got a jacket and the inside is like a weird plasticky material, but this, even if there is like a little bit of pilling, this is gorgeous. It's the same quality as the other two, like, older Gloomy Bear items I had, and it is just stunning. Anyway, that concludes my little haul. Keep your eyes out for a cherry haul very soon, because that'll probably be my next video. Let's be honest, the package is already out on its way. If you guys have video suggestions or any questions, once again, leave them in the comments, and please do subscribe if you're interested and like this video so it gets shown to more people. Hee <laughs> hee. Catch you guys later. Thank you so much for watching, gamers. Bye.